Hello, my name is Brian. I work with Atlantic Tractor in the Integrated Services Department. Today I'd like to talk to you about a frequency change that's coming that will affect our tractor performance with GPS products. The frequency is a frequency broadcast by John Deere to make your auto track and section control more accurate, more known as star fire correction frequency. The frequency is used in all of our receivers, including the 3000 receiver that we currently have in production and the past ITC and Starfire receivers. Uh, here I have two receivers. One, as you can see, is a Starfire 3000 receiver, which is our current receiver that most of you customers have. And some of you customers are still running a Starfire ITC receiver. These receivers receive a correction signal from the sky, from GPS satellites around the world. And the frequency that we're getting is going to be shut off in the middle of December. When this happens, the customers that are running those receivers on that frequency will suddenly lose auto track and section control if they're using it in the field. To avoid this issue, your display and receiver will need to have a software update uh, installed in it that John Deere released in August. Uh, you can identify that by looking at the version number in the setup screen and diagnostics tab on the receiver to identify that. There's two frequencies currently being broadcast. One of them will stay on through the winter and spring, and that's what we're going to talk about, which one to switch over to. Here we have a 2630 display with a 3000 receiver hooked to it. You will currently see that the graph on here is showing Starfire 1 correction in a yellow graph. If you are having an issue with a receiver with the correction frequency, this could be a red graph and say 3D WASP in this area. If it does, you want to go hit the menu tab and navigate the receiver button. And if you're not on this screen, hit the setup tab. This will show you the correction frequency that you're currently running on your machine. If the frequency is 1539.8425 and the check mark is in the default box, the frequency will automatically update as long as the software is current. To check software, you hit the icon for the wrench and book and look at the software version number. Here you will see on this screen it shows that it's 1.90 which is not the current software. On the other screen we're showing you, you will see it has a 2.00 version and that is current software. If you do not have that, you will need to update that off of Green Star Live Update through GS Live Update on your computer. If the default button is checked and you have 8425, you will see in this application that the correction frequency automatically flipped over to the new frequency. This is the new frequency the government just turned on for us to operate under. And if you do this, everything will work fine all through winter and next summer with no issues. There is a chance, however, that you do not have this frequency as default and the frequency may be an optional frequency. Here I have the old frequency number. There's a chance you're running this, and if the check mark is not in the default box, the computer will not automatically flip over to the new frequency. You must have the check mark in the default box. To validate your signal, you can see right there on the bars, the bottom graph is showing in green the SF signal reception from the sky. And this receiver is an SF1. If you have no correction signal, it will say 3D WAS in the position mode box area. The other frequency we're broadcasting on is 1539.8725. This tends to be a default in some receivers, and if you're running this frequency, you are still okay, even if the box is checkmarked as default or not. This frequency will be broadcast again through winter and all through most of next spring, and we will address this at a later date with different software. You should not have any issues with your spring or planting operations through June of next year. This frequency change will not affect the performance of auto track or affect any documentation you may have in your display at the time. If you're doing a software update, I highly recommend that you remove all your documentation from the display and save it in your Apex software before doing any software updates.
If this seems to be too much of a challenge for you, you can either remove the display and receiver from your tractor and bring it to your local Atlantic Tractor store, or we can come to your farm and provide this service for you at your farm. Uh, we have many farm site services available to deal with GPS and precision farming applications, and many farm site services can be done. Uh, we need to protect your documentation that you worked so hard to get this year, so if you're uncomfortable with this procedure, please feel free to give me a call.